Welcome everyone to the location and fight guide for Bane the Shadowblade. The boss roams across a large part of the Dunley farmlands. It is really hard to map this boss, as he seems to have a different route from time to time. The dark blue lines I confirmed myself, and the light blue lines are confirmed by others. The boss disguises himself as a human, and across the Donnelly farmlands you will see a lot of these disguised figures walk around. Some of them are random ads, and one of them is the boss. For this boss fight, I used the Merciless Iron Sword, the Scorched Stone Pendant, and the Howlifang Armor Set. I also used the Blood Rage, Power Surge, Veil of Frost, and Crimson Beam abilities. This boss has four main key points. When the boss turns purple with his blades behind him, he is about to perform a spin attack. When hit, this will deal a large amount of damage and slows you for about 3 seconds. Try to move away from the boss to avoid this damage. The boss will also dash away, followed by throwing 3 daggers at you. When hit, each dagger will deal a decent amount of damage, but if you get hit by all 3 daggers, this could lead to a large amount of damage. Try to sidestep these daggers. The boss also has a rapid slash attack. Each hit will deal a decent amount of damage, but his last attack is a double blade attack, which not only does a decent amount of damage, but also incapacitates you for about 2 seconds. Try to sidestep these attacks, or move away from the boss, because if you get hit by all of these attacks, this could lead to a very large amount of damage. The boss will also vanish and spawn a lot of disguised adds. Try to kill as many adds as quick as you can, as after about 15 seconds, all disguised adds will reveal themselves and start attacking you. However, once the boss reappears, all ads will die, and sometimes the boss will reappear before the ads reveal themselves. If you use any leech abilities, this will be a good chance to get some health back. After killing this boss, you will gain a tier 1 unholy spell point that you can spend on a tier 1 unholy ability of your choosing in the unholy ability tab. You will also unlock the human form vampire power. This vampire power will disguise you as a human, allowing you to sneak around unnoticed. This will also allow you to interact with traders. Keep in mind however that strong-willed enemies can see through this disguise. Also, this disguise will greatly increase your blood consumption rate. <laughs> Careful now. That's delicate. You're some kind of monster. And finally, you can now also craft slashers at the smithy. I hope you enjoyed this guide, and if you want to see some live content or have any questions about the game, you can always come and visit me at twitch.tv slash Thank you again very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.